Yeah. Oh no, it's so scary. hi guys how are you doing i hope you're doing great i hope you're doing amazing and welcome welcome to today's video my name is lucy milton and if you're new here karibu thank you so much for choosing to watch this video i do not take it for granted and uh, please remember to subscribe it's totally totally free you just click that button to subscribe and you'll be a part of this amazing family my youtube channel and hey baby hi so guys, um, and for my returning service, thank you so much. Thank you, the OGs. Thank you so much for being amazing. Thank you for your support. And uh, yeah, I love you so much, guys. You know that. Thank you for always liking and commenting. So guys, uh, I went to the market and I bought some few items, some grocery, green groceries that needed to be refilled. And I said, why not? Why not show you what we got from the market and tell you the prices so that you can know where the prices are ranging. So guys, say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so the boy is so happy today. Okay. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye. Okay. So guys, some of them have already eaten. I think um, uh, we've eaten some apples and some... Uh, Okay, but you're going to see what you've already eaten. So the first thing are these peas. These are green peas of Minji. Can you see them? And they are so fresh. I was so happy. And I got 2 kg kasuku, like the 2 kg kasuku for 80 shillings. So I got three. Three of them. Hey, and that means I have a lot of work to like to prepare them because of course they need to be removed from the pods and all that so i got three three containers of the of the minji can you see how fresh they look this is how you know like fresh minji they need they need to be hard like this so that means they are fresh and they're not stayed in the market for long so that was 80 shillings for a kasuku for a 2 kg tin so i got Three of them at 240 shillings and this bag at 10 shillings. So it costed me 250 shillings. And then I got some omena. So <laughs> this paper has torn, is torn, but I got some omena. What is omena in English? Hmm? I got some omena or sardine. Are they sardine? Silver something, I don't, I'm not sure of the name, either sardines or silver something. Let me put it so that they can air it. This one will fall. So I got this omena and they were 200 shillings. 200 shillings for the omena. It's been such a long time, hmm? such a very, very, very long time. Actually, I can't remember the last time I ate omena. And I love omena, but it's been such a long time since we eat them. So I have some omena. This is how they look. You can see how 
uh, shiny the look so this is how you know like fresh or whatever they should not be dull and brown they should be shiny can you see yeah so that's how i know that my omena are fresh i also prefer like tiny omenas hmm? tiny in size you can see so that's how i love my omena i, I like them as well. tiny and uh because i feel like when they the big ones have sand but the the big ones are not called omena they're called fulu so and they have bones oh well the bones are not that bad but of course since i have a toddler i don't think he he'll able to chew the bones uh of the fulu. so to be on the safe side i got the omena let me put the bag here i also got some carrots i had forgotten that i had that so many carrots in the house so I got this out for 50 shillings. Actually, the carrots right now, they are so much, they are affordable because the ones that I bought were 150 last time, this time is 100 shillings. So yeah, I got some uh, carrots. So 50 shillings basically maybe like less than 50 cents, 50 USD cents. So yeah. I got some apples, <laughs> which you've already eaten. So I bought uh, apples at different vendors. So I bought, there were 300, three three apples like this for 100 shillings so i had bought for 200 shillings we've already eaten one you can see there are five they were six so this ones were for were 200 shillings 200 shillings less than a dollar for six apples also got these mangoes which i've already eaten like three of them or, yeah these mangoes they're so delicious they're so good got uh four four of them for 20 shillings yeah and, oh my god i didn't see this oh my goodness why didn't i see that actually it's the vendor who who picked them for me i wish i looked through so here's another one i also got these big mangoes at 20 shillings 20 kenya shillings these big mangoes and i got five of them the onions i forgot two kgs of onions onions are becoming a little bit at least affordable they it's, it's much cheaper than the last time i got them so the onions were how much was that 130 shillings for a kg so i bought two kgs of onions yeah Yeah, the other apples also got these oranges like the imported oranges is that how they are called i believe so the super yeah, can you see that yeah like these oranges i got them and the boy really enjoyed them so we've already eaten some <laughs> so and some there's more apples right here let me place my fruit there are more oranges no more apples so here are the oranges that i'm talking about yeah, those ones, they're so delicious, they're yummy and juicy, and the boy really enjoys them. So, yeah, I put them here, like that. Mm. More mangoes, these mangoes are not ripe, 
you can see how big they are and they were 20 shillings so that's why i think they were being they were affordable because they are not like ready to eat right away so i bought how many of them two three four five i bought five of them and these tiny ones that are ready to eat i also passed by the cereal shop i got some beans so these are green grams but not the usual green green grams they are brownish in color i'm going to show you so we call them western dengue uh i decided to take a break with the green grams the usual the normal green grams because they give me hot bun. so we are trying this one. Oh, oh also got some chili chili pepper chili chili hmm? got some chili chili we love some chilies in our house They were, it was 10 shillings for the Filipino. 10 shillings for these Filipinos. And the lemons. So these are lemons, guys, right? Lemons were 3 for 20 shillings. I got for 40 bob. So these are yellow beans. I also got yellow beans. And these are high iron beans. I don't know why they call they call them high iron beans, but guys, we've eaten these beans and they do not have gas, zero gas. Can you imagine zero gas? Your stomach is not bloated, and you just enjoy your beans. I love them. I love them. Also got uh, cabbage, which we've already eaten like half. We've already eaten half of it. We ate it yesterday. So yeah. So that's basically it. I did buy some tomatoes because we have some tomatoes right here. Also, there's someone who's selling tomatoes are just uh, near where we live, near our apartment, and they are so good. You know those tomatoes that you cut? Let me show you an example. This tomato. Can you see how red it is? Huh? Tomatoes that actually cook. Huh? So you just cook them for a few minutes and they are ready. So I decided, no, I'm not going to buy in the market. I'm going to buy right here, and I'm hoping they're still available so guys that's basically it for my grocery shopping and it costed me 1500 shillings 1500 shillings that's ten dollars so yeah guys that's it no excluding this excluding the beans these beans they costed uh a thousand shillings which is about eight dollars so for this cereal so these are two k two kg of the green grams one kg of yellow yellow beans and two kg of this so these are separate and then Green, green groceries are separate and yeah that's actually what we need in the house right now and also have some maize here have some maize here that i need to prepare them hmm, for gideri gideri is a mixture of corn and beans uh, maize and beans and it's a delicacy a kenyan delicacy and yeah have some maize here ah the same too they're going to be hard maize from from just the look but anyway so that is it guys for our grocery shopping yeah so let me prepare the beans so that i can boil them and put them in the freezer so there goes everything the beans the peas you know the fruits the chilies i need to wash them and put them in the freezer the mangoes the onions the cabbage that is it guys that is it Jamie chocolate.
ये तो दे दे नहीं नहीं तो नहीं नहीं तो नहीं नहीं तो नहीं और इसको भी चलाने को दे दे अरे बहुत सीधा 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 मार सीधा 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 चलाने को दे दे तो नहीं 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 So guys, I'm done with the peas. Hey, it has taken me such a long time. Oh my god, about three hours. Eh, hey, hey, hey. It's not easy. It's not easy. So I want to like put them to boil. So and while I do that, I'll be making dinner in the process. But hey, eh, my god, I'm so tired. My fingers are tired. But anyway. I am done. I am done. I am done. So it's actually it's actually 7 p.m. and I have not made dinner. So of course, as per usual, we are eating ugali, and my ugali is already ready. So today we'll be making ugali with omena. Yes, that it's been a long time coming. I miss omena so much. So I want to make that. So in the meantime, the boy is snacking on a mango so that he can give me a chance to like cook the food a bit quicker. So yeah. Dinner. 
Delicious. Let me hide the rest.
So guys, as you've seen, my omena is fried and I just want to put a little, oh my god, fried omena, like this, huh? <laughs> heavenly guys, heavenly, mmm, so good, so good, huh? Don't eat fish, don't eat fish, oh, yummy. I can literally finish the whole the whole batch. So nice, so delicious. Fried omena. I wonder those people that don't eat omena. What do you eat? What do you eat? Huh? What do you eat? Hey, where? Get down, please. Mm. Huh? Omena, what do you eat in your life? Hmm? Because Omena is just heavenly, so good. Hmm? I missed it. Mommy, yeah? Fish in water. Yeah, fish swims in the water. So good. that I wanted to eat. Now I can't take more because honestly guys it will finish. Or just I can just a little I just a little bit more. Just a, a little guys a little but honestly guys uh, I don't know how I can describe it. How oh, good mm -hmm. I'm sorry I'm beating on the chopping board but we are done with the chopping board. I love small omena because they get fried so well. Hmm? Can you see? The salt, there, there's a, some salt there. Hmm? The crunchiness. Whoever invented this food should be awarded because mm, pure bliss, it's so good, guys. Mm. Anyway, I, let me just stop it from there because I can go on and on. So I'm frying my tomatoes, then I can add in my fried omena, and our meal will be basically done, and then we can enjoy. Mm.
So that means that the, the product, once the product is open, it must be used within 12 months here. So, and the same as to this. And I think these products, I bought them uh, in 2022. Yeah, so I think they are expired. Let me just throw them away. Also, this powder. This powder, hmm? I don't know what's the use of it. This powder. I was bought this powder during my baby shower. Yes, guys, believe it or not, this powder is almost three years old. Actually, yeah, no, yeah, actually it's three years old because uh, uh, it was bought on February during my baby shower and eh, again in the trash, in the trash, because my baby is already big and I think also it's it's expired now. So guys, my bathroom is a mess. It's such a mess, honestly. <gasps> it's a mess. I need to fix this. Oh my god, I'm so ashamed. But anyway, we're going to fix it right now. What? 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 what, what? My goodness, what is this? What is this? Hey.
Guys, I can proudly say that my bathroom is sparkling clean. Can you look at that sink? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And that mirror, hi! <laughs> That's me. And the walls too are looking good and fresh. Also the me the taps, don't forget the taps, guys. And of course these soap holders. Guys, this is silicone, so we put here to prevent the soap from sliding off. If you have uh, such a soap dish, please let me know if your soap does slide off. So that's why sometimes, guys, we place our soap here or here. And that's why here it was so, so dirty and soapy because we place our soap here sometimes, yeah. So we place it here these days in this soap dish and other times we place here, but it keeps sliding off. And of course, our rack is looking all good, but empty. <laughs> It's looking clean, but it's empty. It needs we need to refill some toiletries here because you can see our tissues are almost over. We have toothpaste, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's just somewhere in the house. Craig had it, so I'll just get it. So and right here I have my hair straightener. This hair straightener is such a lifesaver, especially when you uh, I have my hair out, my hair straight. So I use that to straighten my hair. And my, of course, where well, we do the business is all clean. And yeah, so, of, and the babies too. Hmm? I love this potty because uh, it replicates the bigger one, you see? So it was so much easier for the boy to know how to go to the potty because he can actually relate. And uh, yeah, loves it so, so much. It, this one was a game changer for sure, for sure. Because immediately I got this on that day learned how to go to the potty so kudos kudos to this invention but anyway this is where we place our towels they are outside so for the sun please ignore that <laughs> but that's what i used to scrub myself but anyway yeah so we have those those and where we place the toilet paper and basically that's all guys that is all fresh and clean so let's uh spray a little of air freshener to leave the bathroom smelling nice and fresh mm, i love this i love this citrus why is it not focusing i love it the citrus yeah yeah i love that so mm, it smells so good Burning like a 